Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Vakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. In the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right, this is the Baba Yakanan from the GMS England branch, and here I have this um this article taken from Newsweek.com, and as you can see, it's entitled "Republicans Voting for Bill That Could Make Bible Illegal." Outrages MAGA. All right. And this was released um, May 2nd, 2024. And um, as you can see, you know, things are um, accelerating, you know, extremely quickly concerning biblical prophecy. And concerning, you know, the um, impending demonization of those that preach out of the holy bible all right which the main target you know of this particular agenda is to pinpoint demonize and attempt to get rid of the um prophets of yahweh bahasham yahweh shai those that are on the highways preaching this word okay coming out with the precepts reading from the holy bible Okay, there's a heavy agenda to completely eradicate the presence of the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai upon the earth. Okay, whether you're teaching, all right, the um 100% pure truth, like we are here at you know Great Millstone, or whether you know you're you're um a group out there. That doesn't have, you know, the whole truth, all right? The main thing is that you're teaching and you're bringing out the words of the Holy Bible, all right? So this is going to um, affect anyone, all right, that's coming in that vibration, all right? But we know that, you know, the true agenda, you know, the true purpose of this is to get rid of the true Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and the basically, you know, the hundred percent truth. All right, that's coming out of the true prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Now, what we gotta remember is that this is all biblical prophecy. All right, and as it tells us, let's get it right quick in the book of uh, Amos, chapter eight and verse eleven. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Alright, so this is actually biblical prophecy that they are trying to, you know, eradicate and disappear, you know, the words of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai from availability on all platforms. Okay, whether it be the internet highways and the byways or whether it be the physical highways and the byways on the streets okay they don't want any presence of the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai upon the earth okay because that interferes with their new world order all right that interferes with the um the um the wickedness all right and the philosophies that they want to push okay for them to, you know, successfully launch, you know, this NWO system, they have to completely eradicate, you know, the presence of the Holy Bible, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because that's a conflict to what they stand for, all right? <clears throat> Even though, all right, they have used um, un un untruthfully, you know, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai as pursuing to, um, what's that? The book of uh, Psalms uh, 50 and 16. All right, let's get that right quick. 
All right, because Esau is the ultimate hypocrite. Now, this is Psalms chapter 50 and verse 16. Now it says, But unto the wicked, the most I saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. All right, and in the NLT it says, But God always, Salakia, it says, But God says to the wicked, Why bother reciting my decrees and pretending? to obey my covenant all right because this man's a hypocrite all right now he will tell you you know to um swear upon the holy bible in his court system all right but they don't up uphold the laws statutes and commandments of yahweh Shem Shai in their societies okay so they're hypocrites all right but now you know they're, they're showing you you know their hand they're not even hiding it they're letting you know that they want to actually get rid of you know, the Holy Bible, okay? They actually want to um, make it illegal for you to recite out of the Holy Bible on the highways and the byways or on the internet, all right? And that time is, is going to come very, very soon. And that is going to usher in, that is going to usher in the, um, You got some demons outside. Right. As I was saying, that's going to usher in <clears throat> the um, famine of the word. Okay. Where it's not going to be able for you to obtain the words of Yahweh Shimei Oshai, you know, the understanding and the prophecies of the book, you know, and let me get right quick. Isaiah 55 and uh, verse 6. You know, it's the spirit because I've been sitting here, you know, waiting for the spirit to jump on me to do a video. And as soon as I press record, you know, I start hearing, you know, demons outside, you know, shouting, you know, fighting, you know, so it shows you that, you know, the spirits are active. All right. The, the words of Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, you know, the words of this book. Uh, a high level, you know, vibrational, all right? And when we bring out, you know, the words of Yahweh Shimi Yahweh Shai, things happen, all right? Things definitely happen, all right? We witnessed that many a times at the camp or wherever you're bringing out the word, all right? Because this, this is real. All right, so this is um, Psalms 55 and verse 6, and it says, Seek ye the, the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near, all right? So it's very important, all right, because now, you know, we're coming to the end of the ability to seek, you know, Yahweh Shimei Shai. You know, them gates of repentance are closing, all right? And that's why it's becoming harder and harder, all right, to obtain the words of Yahweh Shimei Shai. all right? Because the Lord is closing those gates of repentance, all right? He's slowly removing, withdrawing, you know, himself via, you know, the prophets, all right, from from upon the earth. All right, and you're going to see how, you know, this continues to um, become more and more apparent, you know, as we draw closer to the end of this man's kingdom. Okay, you're going to see the complete withdrawal, you know, of the, um, you know, the men of the Lord from the highways and the byways. This biblical prophecy is going to happen. Okay, now verse 7 says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. All right. So that time of abundantly pardoning, you know, is coming to a close. All right. The time of repentance is coming to a close. Yes. You know, the gates of repentance are still open, you know, but you know, time is, um, is running thin, you know, the, the sand, you know, if you will, of the um the hourglass you know is nearly um you know is nearly up all right so we're in that time where as it tells us um what's that um if i could remember it i believe it's um Sirach five and seven all right let me try that see if it pops up yep this is um Sirach chapter five and verse seven for what do you have about shimmy i was shy so it says Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, 
and putting her off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All right? So we're not in the time of um, tarrying, you know, to turn unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and putting off from day to day. All right? Because as it says here, suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. All right? And that's what, you know, this this world pushes, you know, is being, having security, you know, in Esau Edom's kingdom. Okay? Sleeping, you know, and um, being ignorant of what's happening around you, not being circumspect, okay? But in the times that we're, you know, heading into, and even in the times that we're, you know, occupying right now, you can't afford to have that spirit. You know, you got to be a watchman. You know, as the scriptures, you know, talk about the watchman. You got to be on point. You know, you got to be continually surveying, you know, what's happening in the world and where we are, you know, in the, in the, in the grand scheme of things concerning biblical prophecy, you know, because if you sleep, you know, you're going to get caught unawares. You know, Yahweh Shai is going to be, you know, like unto you as a thief in the night. All right, because you weren't watching for his coming. You know, we're, we're watching, you know, for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. We're, we're constantly watching. Why do you think we do um, so many videos? Why do you think we do videos during the week? Why do you think we go out to the camp? We're always watching. All right. And when things happen, we report on these things to alert, you know, the rest of the flock, because that's the job of a watchman, okay, and it's very important that you don't blow an uncertain sound, all right, because that's a great offense, and one that will require, you know, great judgment from Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai for those that do it, you know, blowing an uncertain sound, meaning, you know, you come in, in, um, in a message that's not according to the Holy Scriptures, all right, you breaking down the scriptures wrong. You changing, you know, the um, the notes to the song. All right. So again, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and putting it off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shall be sh shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All right. Now another scripture that has came to mind in the light of this um article. And what they're trying to do is um, in regards to, you know, they hate them that rebuke if, you know, in the gate, you know. So they don't want, you know, this word to come out on the highways and the byways no more. They actually hate us. All right. They hate the fact that we bring out the, the, the truth, you know, of the Holy Bible. All right. That's a stain. All right. Upon, you know, their their kingdom and their rulership and their enterprise. OK, so they want to get rid of that. Now, there's also another scripture. Let me get it right quick. In regards to um the upright conversation. All right, let me get that right quick. Now, this is Psalms chapter 37. Psalm chapter 37 and verse 14. And it says, The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation, okay? So those that be of um, upright conversation are who? You know, the prophets of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. Now, what makes our conversation upright is because we're speaking according to the Holy Bible, all right? We're bringing out the prophecies. We're bringing out, you know, the breakdowns of the Holy Bible, and we're telling you of things that are to come that have not yet happened upon the earth, Okay? As the scriptures tell us, you know, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the uh, spirit of prophecy, all right, roughly paraphrasing, okay? So that is the um, upright conversation that we're coming with, all right, things that are according, you know, to the holy scriptures, all right? And they want to slay us for coming with that upright conversation. They want to slay us. They literally want to, uh, you know, kill us, you know, take us out, all right, for bringing out this truth, and that's why it tells us in um, Romans chapter 12, right? Let's get that right quick. This is Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. Now it says, um, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, 
which is your reasonable service, okay? So that's why the scriptures say, you know, that we're presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice, man, okay? Because while preaching this word, while being a part of this ministry, you know, you can, you know, indeed lose your life. And many of us will, you know, lose our life, you know, for the sake of this word, all right? For, um, you know, preaching the words of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and being believers, all right? That's part of the... um. That's part of the walk, you know, for some of us, all right? And, um, you know, you best believe that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to give us the spirit to endure, you know, that kind of, um, that kind of lot, you know? The Lord ain't going, you know, just throw us in the deep end. No, he's going to be with us every step of the way, you know, just like Yahweh Shai said, I am with you, you know, low even unto the end of the world, all right? Even to the point, you know, you get your your head put in that um that guillotine, you know, if that's your lot, Yahweh Shai is still going to be with you, you know, all the way. And he's going to give you that special spirit of endurance to be able to um stomach and to handle, you know, all the things that you go through leading up to your um demise. All right. But then after the demise, you know, what's going to happen? The rise. Okay, you're going to be risen back up and you're going to come back, you know, with Yahweh Shai in the clouds, as it tells us, man. All right, so we really have uh, nothing to fear, man. All right, we really have nothing to fear because, you know, the sting of death, the very sting of death, you know, is going to be overcome through Yahweh Shai, all right, when we enter into eternal life, all right? So um, that's all I wanted to get, you know, in this uh, particular video. You know, this shows you that things are intensifying and we don't have much left, much time left on the highways and the byways. All right. Now, with that, Lord willing, this video has been edifying. Until next time, I'll say Shalom.